What's up, Alan Belcher here with Contract Killer. <clears throat> Mike Sanford helping me out. Um, I talked about the body lock that I like to use to throw them down, to knee them. Um, ways to control the guy down <clears throat> here on the ground. Try to catch his leg, hold him in half guard. Um, you're gonna be able to hold the guy down and win your, win your MMA rounds better, okay? So, subject of MMA, so I'm just keeping it real for you. That's what you gotta do, you gotta hold him down. But doesn't mean you can't submit him from here, all right? You don't always have to pass the guard to submit him. In this case, a lot of guys, they're still trying to get up. If I wanna get some, do some damage to him, I want, wanna sit up here, punch, elbow, and sometimes it messes me up and he sets up and gets an underhook on me, okay? Whenever this happens, one of the counters, instead of overhooking him and pushing, some people like to go for the dart stroke, that's cool and everything. Um, one that I like to do <clears throat> is automatically throw my weight into him so he goes back on his back. At the same time, I'm gonna twist my body and get my elbow all the way to his elbow. That's way I'm, I know I'm in a position for the Kimura. So I'm gonna push him down to the ground, at the same time twisting and put on the elbow. So watch this motion. Boom. Just like that, okay? So if he just puts an underhook like this, it may even be easier for me. I still gotta put his back flat on the ground. I still gotta get that elbow over there. Okay, elbow to elbow, just like that. Now I'm gonna start bringing this hand up, looking for his wrist. The first time I grab his wrist, I'm gonna grab it with my fingers. Elbow to elbow's got it trapped in. And I'm gonna start to bring this around just like that. When I bring it around, I'm gonna switch my grip to a Kimura grip. So it's these little monkey fingers, just like that. And I'm gonna start to lift it up high and bend it here, okay? So once it was here, I switch my grip from the finger to here, lift it up and start to bend it, okay? The Kimura is all about getting it nice and high and getting it bent right here. That's gonna enable me to, uh, to get it good, okay? So before I finish this, watch what happens if I just try to finish it here. If I do this, Mike can set up and it's very hard for me to finish it. Not meaning I'm not gonna get it, but it's just making it hard on myself. So I'm gonna move my weight up towards his head to keep his head down and his chest down. And my, the way I'm gonna do that is bring my knee up high, just like that. Now my chest is on top of him. He can't bring anything up. Now all I have to do from here is crank this up just like that and come around. Okay, crank it up, push that behind. All right, that's gonna keep him from getting up on his side and getting up behind. All right, so let's look at that one more time. I'm holding him down. I throw some punches, allows him to get an underhook. Okay, I want to put Mike flat on his back. At the same time, I'm going to go elbow to elbow over here. Boom. Hand comes around to the wrist. Holds the wrist. The hand comes in. Switches from the thumb to no thumbs. Bring it up high. Crank it in. Got a nice little angle right here. Just like that. Lastly, before I try to finish, I got to move up higher. So I'll push off the ground. Get my knee up here. Now I'm able to finish him, bam, just like that. I just lift it straight up, crank it in, and I got him. Half guard Kimura. I hope you guys like that. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thanks a lot, Contract Killer. I'll see you guys next time.